The Golf Association of Philadelphia's Open Championship, as always, marks the pinnacle of the Gap Tournament season. Now throw in a historic venue such as Marion Golf Club, in addition to the field size, and for the pros, a $40,000 purse, and you've got a recipe for one memorable event. And from the start, it was apparent that the 103rd Open, the first to be solely administered by the Golf Association, was going to be just that, memorable. Throughout the first round of play, it was a couple of pros that sat atop the leaderboard at the store at East Porsche. Stu Ingram, out of Overbrook Golf Club, fired the only subpar round of the morning with a 100 par of 69. Mark Sheftick, a pro out of Centerbrook Golf Club, was just one stroke behind him with an even par 70, and Rich Steinmetz of Springford Country Club, Carter to 71. Also at 71 were some of the area's best beautiful amateur talent, such as Mark Miller of Yardley Country Club and Adam Cohen of the Ace Club. Just behind them lay Robert Robertson, the Gap Junior Boys runner-up out of Sunnyville Golf Club with 72. In all, 14 players stood within four shots as the first round came to a close, with players the likes of Christopher Gray, a pro out of Hartville National, Chris Lang of Overbrook Golf Club, who was the last amateur to win the Open in 2004, DJ Bartholomew, the 2007 amateur champ, and Cal Davis, the 2006 amateur champ and low amateur at last year's Open, were all within striking distance. But as the day went on and the course claimed more victims with drier and hotter conditions, only a couple of players distanced themselves from the pack. Sheftick hung tight and took almost anything Marion had to throw at him. Even when he made a mistake and got into trouble like this on the scenic par 317th hole, he still managed to get out of trouble and escape with a par. Heading to 18, Sheftick was too over par, and because he was finishing before most of the field, he knew he had to do something to stay in. There's someone out there that I think was even par at the time. And um, he said, you know, you might as, might as well just give it a run and try to make birdie. Do whatever you can. That clutch birdie gave him a two-round total of one over par, 141, and the lead in the clubhouse. But there was still a great deal of golf out there, and a number of great players capable of beating such a number. Steinmetz was one of those players in the thick of it. That was until an unexpected triple bogey on the par 4 6 hole derailed his chances of winning. Meanwhile, his fellow competitor in Miller started to pull away with close approach shots and birdies on number 11 and this one on 13 to fall to 2 under for the day. But just as Miller seemed to tame Marion's challenging contours, she got one back, as his tee shot on number 14 was swallowed up by the tall fescue on the right side of the fairway. Adding insult to injury, in Miller's attempt to find his ball, the 21-year-old accidentally stepped on it and was assessed a one-stroke penalty only to battle back and make a great bogey. After another bogey on the par 4 16, his lead began to disappear. Now in number 17, and in desperate need of a par, Miller makes his fantastic two-putt from no man's land to stop the bleeding. With Marion's history on his side and a one-stroke lead on 18, Miller's tee shot stops parallel to one of the most famous landmarks on Marion's hallowed grounds. Eerily similar in appearance to that famous one-iron shot that Ben Hogan made in the 1950 U.S. Open, Miller gets on the green safely. All that's left is a two-putt for the win. And with that, Mark Miller of Yardley Country Club becomes the 2007 Golf Association of Philadelphia Open Champion. And Mark Sheftick takes home the $8,000 for low profession. Hit everything pretty well today. I didn't putt all that well, but I made all the putts that I needed to when I had to. The whole day I wanted to know what, where the leaders were at, you know, I mean, I always, I always want to know where I'm at in the tournament. I mean, the game plan wasn't going to change, but I needed to know, you know, I just want to know where I was the whole time. I was extremely nervous, to tell you the truth, but uh, I never came. For Gap TV, Gian Rodriguez.